Hi everybody, Solomon here with Eastern Florida Pythons and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I was able to amass over 10,000 followers on Instagram in, in about a year. These are tried and true techniques. These are not, let me prep, make sure I do a disclaimer, these are not algorithm explanations or anything. We're not working with the algorithm. We're not trying to understand it. I'm not teaching it to you. But these are some tips and tricks that I've used to gain followers, continue to have followers, and then to keep continue to grow followers. Okay, so um, I hope you guys really enjoy this. Make sure you take notes for sure. This is very important stuff. This is not just for reptiles. This is for any business out there that, that just started out on Instagram and wants to grow their business. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so you know when I upload a new video. I try to upload every Monday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we all know Instagram is kind of the big thing in social media at this moment. Um, it is just, it's its honestly probably better than, bigger than Facebook at this point. It's very, very simple to use uh, from the base, base side of it, but when it comes to growing your follower count, it can be a little overwhelming and frustrating due to the fact that there is an algorithm. It's very similar to Facebook. Um, as a matter of fact, Facebook owns Instagram now, so the, the algorithms are always going to be there. Um, but there are some things that you can do to help grow your, your Instagram following, and I'm going to show you those. So let's get into it. So the first one that I want to tell you guys is follow people with the same interests as you. Okay, did you write that down? Because you need to write that down. You need to be following people. You can't just make a profile and sit there and wait for people to find you because that's not how it works, especially with an algorithm. You're not going to pop up on people's feeds or in their Explorer page for the most part. You have to follow people in order to be seen. The good thing is when, you're, when you follow people, there's a good chance that you're going to get a follow back. But most likely not unless you guys share an interest uh, unless you share an interest with that follower so follow people that share the same interests as you whether that be if you're a, a ball python breeder like me I'm gonna follow a bunch of reptile accounts right um, people that I, I would li like to associate I may not see their stuff very often but you want to follow them because you want them to potentially follow you back. Now, you're not going to get everybody that follows you back. That's just the way it is. And let me say this right now. If you're following people just to unfollow them after they follow you, you're doing it wrong and that you're not going to grow. Okay, that is, that is bad form. That's bad Instagram etiquette. So, follow people with the same interests as you. There's a good chance you'll get a follow back. Okay? Second, you need to interact with your followers, okay, and people that you follow. Um, it's, uh, you're not, okay, so if you look at your Instagram profile, at the very top you'll see stories, the little story buttons. Um, the first few stories, or first good bit of stories, are people that you, you interact with the most, c continuously. So if you want to be shown in people, you want to be up on the top of people's lists, uh, in their feeds as well as have certain accounts that you like on the top of your list you have to interact with people now what does interacting mean well first of all likes are probably the lowest level of showing support or interaction towards another account likes don't mean that much in all honesty um, so you know if you're just liking someone's po photo it doesn't really change much for that um, it doesn't really help their insights or anything to really expand. Um, it's, it's not the highest level, okay? So comment, comment on their picture. Don't just comment an emoji. Comment, you know, oh, this is wonderful, or, you know, you know, I love this photo. This is great content. Whatever you got to do, you know, just, just a nice compliment, all right? Don't attack people, okay? If you're building a business, you do not need to be attacking people for if they disagree with you. Let me just let me just show you that right now and tell you that right now. And keep your comments clean. Nobody needs profanity 
uh, anything like that, keep your comments clean. Comment on people's posts, okay? Reply to the stories that you see in your story feed. You can you can reply, oh, that's great, that was hilarious, I loved it, you know. Do whatever you gotta do to interact with your followers. The reason being, the more you interact with them, the more you, they're gonna see your stuff as well as you're gonna see their stuff. So your favorite accounts, Give them give them comments. Give them um, you know share share their stuff. Um, it, it, one of the the highest level of support that you can give another account on Instagram is actually save the picture. There's a little button in the lower right hand corner below the picture that you can actually save that you can go back and look at. You may never go look through it, but just hitting that button is is what they call a super like. So it really means like high level. And Instagram will see that and be like, oh, well, people love this picture. So let's keep sharing it. Let's let's show it in other people's feeds or their, their Explorer page. Let's get it out there because we want more people to look at that stuff. So that's how you do it. Super likes are called saves. Saves or super likes, got it? All right, number three. Have a profile picture that is connected to your business. This is this does not mean a selfie of your face, all right? Unless you do makeup or something, you know. But a picture of you or a picture of your family on a business page doesn't really get you much notice, okay? You want something in your profile picture because if you like someone's comment or like somebody's profile or you follow them, the only thing they see in their notification bar is is your name and then that tiny little picture. So if it's, for example, I have a logo with a snake in it. People know that my account has snakes in it and that allows people to see that and start um, following me. So if you do jewelry, put some jewelry in there, you know. Uh, if you're a fashion writer or a fashion blogger or whatever, have some fashion, whatever you got to do. If you like cars, put a car in it, you know. You want people to catch your eye, catch their eye, you want to catch their eyes on your profile and it starts from the profile picture, okay. So that is super, super, super important. Number four, content. Content is extremely important. And what I mean by that is you might you need to make things that people are going to want to look at. That doesn't just mean snap a quick photo on your phone, unedited, or in horrible lighting. It's blurry, it's fuzzy, you can't really see what's going on. You need to be taking pride in your photos. If you're a business, you need to take pride in your business. Okay? Um, don't share nasty stuff. You know, don't share disgusting things, you know, don't throw up gang signs, none of that stuff. You keep that stuff off your page. If you're a business page, keep it off your page. You want it completely, 100% clean and professional, okay? It is super, super important that you do this. Make sure your posts are are very bright, vibrant, stuff that's going to catch people's eyes because if it's just a boring post, people are going to swipe through it and they're just going to keep on scrolling. They're not going to look at it. But if it catches people's eyes, that's what you want. That is a really good things, and that will get you more interactions like comments or shares or super likes, whatever. So make sure you do high quality stuff. Now that doesn't mean you have to go out and buy a DSLR camera and get the latest uh, Photoshop software. You don't have to do that. You can edit photos on your phone now. They have photos. If you go to your photos, you can actually edit them and do like brightness, contrast. You can change the lighting. You can do all that stuff on your phone now. It's amazing, okay? So just take pride in what your content looks like, all right? Awesome. Um, number five, post consistently. This is very important. What that means is no, you don't have to post one every four hours. You don't have to post every day if you don't want to. But whatever posting that you choose, you need to stick to it. If it's once a week, you post on Mondays at such and such time, post on Monday, every single Monday at that time. All right, you want to stay consistent. You could post once a month, that's fine. Do it on the same time every month, okay? Consistency is key. Once you drop out of that, your 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 ranking goes down, and it's it's hard to build that back up. So consistency is key, and posting consistently is key. How can you how can you help yourself? Well, there's a few ways you can do that. Uh, 
my favorite thing is using a scheduler like Planoli. Um, you can actually look on, on this channel uh, in my DIY folder or a DIY playlist. There is another video about Planoli. It talks to you about how it works, how much it is, all of that stuff, and why you use it. But you can actually upload you could upload a month's worth of posts and schedule them and just leave your hands off of it. You don't have to worry about it. They just automatically post, including hashtags, although right now with the election, hashtags don't work. But uh, you can post hashtags. Super cool. So go check out that video after this one's over with. Please watch the whole thing, okay? And then watch that one so you can get it up. Get an idea of something really cool called Planoli. All right, number six, sanitize your business. This is super important, and a lot of people don't get it, and a lot of people argue this with me. But keep your social and political beliefs out of your business. They do not belong there. They don't help you at all. Oh well, I voted for such and such. Well, we're just keep that off your page. Nobody, honestly, nobody cares about your opinion, and you are not going to change anyone else's mind, okay? All you're doing is alienating people that might not have the same beliefs as you, and that doesn't help your business because guess what? Everybody's money spends, and if you're trying to create a business and an account like that, you cannot alienate your customer base, okay? So don't do that. Number seven, this is a big one. Uh... A really good way to gain followers is to run a giveaway. So, uh, you know, you can, this is a 10,000 follower giveaway, and you know, give away items, you know, so make it something snazzy, something really, really worth it, you know? You don't want to just give away, like, junk, okay? Junk doesn't really entice people to want to follow you. Or, or enter into your giveaway. So something really nice. I've only done, well technically I've done two, but the, the first giveaway was more of a just a, a thank you to everybody giveaway. It wasn't about getting followers. But my second giveaway, the one that actually mattered, I was at uh, 8,500 followers and I gave away a really, really nice uh, ball python, female. Um, that was actually worth a good bit of money, okay? Um, but I did it because, you know, we were getting ready to hit 10,000, and I, I would have hit it regardless of using the giveaway or, or not, but I decided I was going to do it. So giveaways are a good thing. With that being said, listen to what I am telling you right now. There's a lot of problems on Instagram right now with people doing raffles. Raffles do not make you look good. Raffles are not what you need to be doing. There is no business in the entire world that will take money from a customer without actually getting a product back, okay? You are literally causing people to gamble, and that is not your place. I've seen arguments about, uh, well, the government does it, so I should do it. Well, no, the fact of the matter is most raffles in the entire country of the United States are illegal. Most of them are, and I would I would beg to say about 99% of the ones that go on Instagram are illegal. That's why I unfollow people when they do raffles, because I don't want to be associated with possible crime, all right? So I know that's going to make some people mad, but that's fine. Don't do a raffle. You never take money from your potential customers without getting them something, you know? You know, you're only going to give one person the, the 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 one winner something but the rest of the people that put money towards that that animal or whatever lose it plus you're probably doing something against the law all right and you need to be representing your business in a good way and i'm sorry but that's shady so don't do raffles okay that's my little soapbox i'm sorry number eight let your followers get to know you this is very important if you're trying to sell a bit, sell a product, no matter what it is, reptiles, jewelry, cars, cleaning supplies, fashion, whatever, your followers need to get to know you first. It's not like Walmart that is, you know, uh, a big company that is well established. Everybody knows what it is. You are just starting out, or you are very low on the totem pole. Your name's not out there very much. Okay, you can't use your your popularity and being famous to your advantage. P 
People need to know who you are. What does that mean? Well, you can share family stuff if you're comfortable with it. Share family stuff in the middle of some of your posts. You know, share funny things that have happened. Share, you know, a great one is dog pictures. Everybody loves puppers, okay? Post pictures of you with a pupper. You know, do, do stuff like that. Let people get to know who you are. Going live is a really great way because they get to put a face to the name and they get to hear your voice and they get to see how you talk and all that stuff. Really good thing is going live or IGTV videos or reels. You know, you want people to get to know you because you sell yourself before you can ever sell a product. I'm, I'm telling you right now. There's a reason why most of the time when I have eggs that hatch now that most of them people are already ready to buy them out of the egg and they're not even ready yet. It's because I've made a reputation and I have allowed people to get come into my life and, and, and learn who I am. Now they don't get to go into a lot of detail like my belief system and everything because I keep all that stuff sanitized but they know me as a person through Instagram and that is very important. Okay. The final thing I have to tell you guys that will help you out really big is have fun and be creative. Creativity is very, very important. What does that mean? Well, you can you can set your posts up however you want to, but if you've got just one piece of jewelry, add something else in there, something that's going to catch people's eyes. Like take a fake flower and lay that down or make a really cool background for that that picture to be in. You know, whatever whatever you're doing, make it flashy. All right, you want to have as much fun as you can because the more you do to, to be creative and keep your and and, and gain uh, catch people's eyes, the better off you're going to be. That will keep people continually staying with you. It's they're not going to get bored with you. You know, you, you they they constantly love your content. That is how you do it. Okay. Um, and also, uh, I did I forgot one thing. You need to answer every single comment and every single message that you get unless it's spam but all your comments and all your messages make sure you answer them you want like i said you want to interact with people but that is that's very important so i hope you guys like this video i hope it helps you i i, I really do I, I i love trying to teach you guys some really good content or uh I, some uh, really good tips and tricks on, on Instagram. It's something that I've really, really enjoyed and I've had to learn kind of on my own. I hope this helps. So make sure you share it. You can share it anywhere you want to. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon, and uh, that way you'll know whenever I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.